Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's not much to video today yet. It's misty, it's somber, and uh, but this right. is nice. the mist has cleared up. The watercolors across this ginger beer on the other side from south is beautiful. It's such beautiful colors. But then the outgoing tide is not so nice. The mist is still thick there towards Mopelan Bay. And here we can see how the estuary mouth looks like. We're going to get closer and show you what some... What is that? Try and lift it up. Flower. Is it a plastic flower? I don't know. Hey? It's a rose. A real purple rose. It's a real white rose that washed out here on the ocean on the beach. It's not a plastic flower. It is what? There's another one. What's happening here? That's a purple. Fish was slaughtered and the reeds is growing here on the beach in the sea sand. Ah, oh, the oyster catchers is amongst the turns. Let's just try and get the stable platform here and see if the skimmers is there. Can't really see if the African skimmers is there. Oh, there's a heron. Okay, back to the estuary. Still misty, yeah? We had an incident with the hippo upstream. Uh, that, that. The clean water is very close, so the people are trying to fish. They're spinning, they're catching bait. The shad was jumping just now, something was chasing them. So, if you look at the ocean color right across the sandbar, yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Frank's profile there is giving us a little bit of a pr perspective on what's happening here at the estuary mouth. Although he's challenging the hunting crocodiles in the area. Apparently somewhere in the early hours of the morning or yesterday or last night, there was a hippo attack on a gillnetter. Now it's very sad information because a lot of people are anti gill netting and a lot of people are pro traditional harvesting rights. I don't think it's the same thing. Um, gill netting is a no-no. It's very controversial, especially in the way that it's practiced at the moment. Um, I think we should be more interactive with our fishing techniques where gill netting is setting a trap killing catching and killing everything and then whatever is entangled there becomes bait and food for crocodiles and then they swallow the nets I've got the video here on YouTube somewhere where I took a video of a crocodile busy swallowing a gill net luckily that one was saved by Isabella Wildlife well done guys it was yeah just before lockdown that happened sadly happened Not better advice Frank went a day after his birthday played with death walked on that fucking reed bed and go, went and touched the pole that one year ago was too far for me to take a picture of a fish eagle sitting on the pole but that's Frank Gates fit for you a stubborn old man with no fucking fear. No what? Fear. You don't fear anything. But you don't even fear poverty. Now this is why I don't want to come to the peninsula anymore. To look at that sediment encroachment from the ocean. Now that the videos was published so in such quite rapid succession you guys can now see exactly what I'm talking about Let's see how far the ocean washed the sediment into the reeds I just want to carry on with my life
where the people are fishing today it's not serious fish happening there is one guy that looks like he's got something a lot of people between Ingwe and Jabula the water colors is not quite right for fishing south but up north might be a lot different 